Hello, everybody, and welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. So the full moon began at midnight on um, September 1st into September 2nd. And um, let's see what the energy for today is going to be all about. What we want to know, what we want to strategize with, and some basic concepts and strategies to keep forward as we get through our day. And when we consider um, our day and consider our path today, some key words that we can keep in mind to try to uh, make us more efficient, more effective, and get through the day a lot more um, smiles than frowns. So let's get these cards down and see where our day is going and what our energy for today is all about. We've got a second pile, and finally now, our last pile. And today, I'm definitely feeling the center pile. Let's see what we have for a card, shall we? And we have the Eight of Chalices, or Eight of Cups, depending upon the book that you read or the cards that you actually use. But um, the Eight of Cups... When we look at it, um, we come up with a, a few different key words. First and foremost, cups is all about emotions. It's all about the way we're feeling, the way we're feeling within and the way we're feeling without. Um, when we look at the, um, the key words for it, one of the things that pops up is abandonment, feeling alone, feeling um, like you need to walk away from a situation, um, feeling like you need to let go of a situation. And actually... Um, Looking for an escape route, right? Um, having reached your limit, finally deciding that, hey, enough is enough, um, that sort of thing. Um, good time for introspective work. Um, good time to withdraw from the situation. Um, you may be feeling a little bit of disappointment even um, today. So as you know, it's one of those cards and one of those days where we really want to look at how um, we're actually facing the truth or how we're actually looking at our own truth. And that being said, it's how we want to respond or react to certain things. So when we look at the Eight of Cups, we also got to consider, right, um, what correspondences does it have? So with the Eight of Cups, one of the correspondences that it actually has with um, the Major Arcana is the Strength card. So it's all about us pulling ourselves from where we're feeling right now. If we've been going through some emotional times and going through some of the emotions that I've just um, described, or perhaps um, considering leaving a bad situation, this is um, corresponding with a card that's giving you strength. Time for you to um, take the blindfolds off. Time for you to activate what it is within you and get yourself out of the situation that's no longer serving your higher vibe. Now, this is also a caveat, too, um, that you do not want to run away from your mistakes. If you've made some errors and you've made some um, issues um, within yourself or within your life, you got to face up to those and you got to manage them rather than trying to escape from them. So it's important that we remember that as well. Now, some of the things we've been working on doing is actually talking about shadow work, right? So when we look at um, shadow work, um, one of the things you need to consider is evolution's essential. We're not meant to stay the same person or the same spot for the rest of our lives. What happens is we start evolving, people start evolving with us, and we move forward. However, if we start moving forward and people are sort of not at that level or don't want to carry on with us, then we need to continue our path forward. We can't just be still and um, compromise because of an individual or a setting that we're comfortable in and um, don't want to leave. We still have to consider our options. We still have to um, meet our own needs and move forward as necessary. Um, also, shadow work again. Make sure you're not running away from a situation or avoiding responsibility for your actions. It's most important that we examine all the aspects of our current situation before abandoning it and really make a determination if we're actually doing it for our higher good or if we're doing it because we're running away from a situation. Because as you know, if you try to run away from a situation or you try to repress very specific aspects of your life, it's still going to come out. Whatever we repress, we express in other ways. So when we look at it from a love and relationship standpoint, obviously it's not the most positive omen or energy that you can get. It's all about signifying what's going on in your relationship. 
are there things that you've actually um, done to compromise it or vice versa? And are you actually happy right now in the current situation? Now, it doesn't mean that you have to step away from friends, family, or loved ones or significant others. But right now, the current situation that you're in may not be serving either one's higher vibe. And you need to look at it as to what can be changed in it or what can be tweaked in it in order to make it workable going forward. And from a money to career standpoint, this is, again, facing your responsibility. If there are things at work that aren't going the way they're supposed to be going, look at them. If you're responsible for an aspect of that, take that responsibility and move forward. If you're no longer feeling the vibe of working where you're working, it might be a good time now to start looking at a career change or a job change. Um, it's probably not the best time to do any type of long-term investments and such because the decisions you make are going to be tainted with some of the underlying issues that may be going on in your life. So long story short, it's a definitely interesting card for Wednesday. Probably a real um, good Wednesday type card. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. And until then, be safe, be well, and absolutely be blessed.